Hi, my name is Dr. Larkin Sanders and I am the Applied Clarinet Instructor here at Washburn University. Today I'm going to walk you through the bass clarinet excerpts for the Kansas All-State auditions. The first excerpt is from Antonin Dvorak's The Wild Dove. This excerpt is really slow and it seems pretty simple because it's a bunch of whole notes. However, your audition judges are really going to be looking or listening for your counting abilities and your breath support. You'll notice these phrases are really long and it might be hard to decide where exactly to breathe. Fortunately, you have a couple of long tied D flats and you can take breaks on those to breathe. So pay attention to where you're breathing and make a plan to showcase your excellent breath support in this excerpt. <laughs> The next excerpt is from Colonial Song by Percy Granger. Your judges are really going to be listening for your beauty of sound in addition to your counting abilities. This is probably the highest excerpt you have on the bass clarinet audition, going all the way up to a high F, so you really want to make sure that you're comfortable in the upper register in addition to your low register playing. And you'll want to make sure that these phrases are nice and big, coming all the way from really soft pianos all the way up to big fortes. <laughs> The next excerpt is from Paul Hindemith's Symphony in B flat. Your judges are really going to be listening for accurate rhythms, style, and articulation. You'll notice that there are a lot of tongued things in this excerpt and a lot of funny notes. Trust yourself and make sure that you're double checking your accidentals, making sure that what accidentals do appear are carrying through the measure appropriately, and that you're tonguing everything that is supposed to be tongued. <laughs> For your excerpt from The Nutcracker, your judges are really listening for your excellent holiday spirit. I'm just kidding. They do want to hear you play with excellent technique and to make sure that you are using the correct fingerings for some of the trickier stuff, like in the second line. Make sure you're using your correct chromatic fingerings so that they're not catching any little weird bobbles along the way. <laughs> The next excerpt is from a Frederick Dotsauer etude, and your judges are really going to be listening for technique and breath support. You'll notice that there aren't a lot of good places to breathe, especially when there is no actual break. There are no rests throughout this entire etude. You'll notice in my recording that I drop an eighth note at the end of the second line to maintain my tempo and to continue playing. You have a couple options in situations like this. You can either do what I did and drop a note for the sake of breathing, or you can give yourself a little bit of a rubato moment, a little bit of a retardando to the end, take a breath and reset in a tempo primo after you come back in. I like dropping an eighth note because I like continuing my momentum throughout the excerpt. You do have a quarter note 
after which you can breathe in the third to last line between that D quarter note and the D eighth note. That is a great place to breathe. <laughs> In the last etude by Perrier the, from his progressive studies, you will also be playing this for technique and breath support, much like you did in the previous etude. This one has even fewer opportunities to breathe, so this is a great opportunity to, pra to practice a retardando breath. I practice my retardando breath in, after the first measure of the third line, after that downbeat of the G, between those two big Gs, that lower G and the upper G. I do a little retardando into the lower G, give myself time to breathe, and kind of gradually come back into tempo on that scale downward. That's how I make time to breathe, sound a little bit artistic, and show the judges that I am creative and a good problem solver. Thanks for watching this tutorial on the Kansas All-State Bass Clarinet Excerpts. Again, my name is Dr. Larkin Sanders, and I'm the Applied Clarinet Professor here at Washburn University. If you're interested in taking a lesson with me, I'd love to work with you, give you a tour of the campus, or let you see what it's like to be a music major at Washburn in general. We have a lot of fun in the clarinet studio, and we'd love you to be a part of it. You can find my contact information and more in the description below.